Hey guys, Holly Randall here, bringing you behind the scenes of another one of my shoots. Today I am shooting Emily Willis. <laughs> but today is actually an important day beyond the fact that I just get to work with such a fabulous model. Today is the day that I relinquish some control. Hi everyone, my name is Eva. I am Holly Randall's production manager and platonic lesbian lover. It's not in her ass, it's on. Oh. She's pregnant, she's got pain. So I'm really nervous today. It's gonna be totally different than anything we've ever done before. Holly is entrusting me to take over one of her sets and I have to shoot and I've never done that before for her so I'm, I'm really, really nervous. So if you haven't noticed, I am eight months pregnant. And I'm gonna be going on maternity leave very soon. So I'm gonna be unable to shoot for several months. I have clients who need me to shoot for them. So I need somebody to help take over. And that somebody is my trusty production manager and platonic lesbian lover, Eva. She's over here in the corner with her head in her hands. <laughs> so Eva is a photographer herself. She's actually very talented, but her style is totally different than mine. She's more kind of um, raw, black and white, very much in the moment, kind of reportage style. Whereas I'm very calculated, high glamor, um, perfect lighting, that kind of thing. So I need to kind of incorporate her into my style for the shoots that I'm doing. So today I'm gonna shoot the first set on Emily myself. And then the second set, when we go outside into the 100 degree heat, I'm gonna make Eva shoot it. So we're gonna see how she does with me breathing down her neck. So, do you like how, I'm not actually, this? I literally need to shoot from this bed, not because I'm pregnant, <laughs> but because there's no space and where I wanna shoot Emily, like I have to be on the bed in order for me to even, have enough space with this lens, but it, I won't lie, it is a wonderful excuse for me to just like lounge on the bed here like a fucking princess. So that will uh, just make my life easier and I need my life to be easier right now. In terms of shooting into walls, you almost never wanna shoot straight into a wall. You almost always wanna shoot into an, on an angle so that you get some depth to the wall and you don't have like a really flat boring shot. So generally when I shoot, if I'm shooting into a wall and I have no depth, I try to go on an angle. Oh my God, so adorable. Yeah. yeah. You look great. This whole outfit's really, really I cute. I love it, this is my jam. Yeah. That is perfect. Gorgeous. And then do you want to turn around? Give me a couple from behind. Oh my god, you really look so cute. Do you, should I bring this down? Yes. We did dog ever the dog wrangler. That's gorgeous. Oh my god, so cute. Cool. How are those? Am I giving good face? Girl, you always have good face. No, honestly. <laughs> I just need to make sure that I look like alive and like. Yeah, so these look great. Super happy with how it looks. Emily always looks adorable. The set works perfectly with her. The outfit matches. I just love it. I think it's so, so adorable. Uh, we're gonna keep shooting. Hopefully Pickles won't walk in on set anymore. I do have a photography background to some degree. I wouldn't say I'm a professional, but I have been shooting various things ever since I was 14. Um, mostly it's film, black and white, a little bit 
artsy fartsy stuff, natural lighting. Uh, I don't have any experience with studio lighting. So uh, to take over Holly's sets and hold the set up to her standards with lighting and posing and cropping and all those things that she's done so well for so long is pretty, pretty nerve wracking. So Eva wrote that little day 732 of pregnancy. And believe me, it feels like I've been pregnant forever, but I'm pretty sure that number behind me is not really correct. So I find myself in an interesting position because I've always had a hard time delegating to other people. I'm kind of one of those people who feels like if you want it done right, do it yourself. And I've always had problems letting go. And so letting Eva kind of shoot for me raises a lot of personal anxiety. And it's interesting because I actually see myself in the position that my mom was in when my mom was kind of starting to work towards finally retiring and letting me take over and how she felt about like me taking her position. And mom, what's the most important thing about posing? Pointing your bloody toes. <laughs> <laughs> and relaxing your shoulders. And I feel like now I really have come to understand how much of like my personal identity is wrapped up in my career and what I do for a living. And there's a lot of like personal emotional fear with who am I if I'm not Holly Randall and like what will becoming a mother take away from my career and will people forget about me and will I lose my foothold? You know, I've worked so hard to get to where I am today and so kind of this new chapter in my life is exciting for me, but it's also kind of terrifying. So um, today is going to definitely be an exercise in letting go. All right, are you ready to set up for your shoots? Yeah. Where are we going? Um, well, we need to prep all the barbecue food. So we need to get the hot dogs together. Okay. We need to cut the watermelon. We need to dish oh, out the god. potato salad. Oh god. I'm not pregnant, but I'm definitely having cramps. Oh god. Yeah, I know how you feel. I, I forgot what it's like to have my period, but it's um let me tell you something, honestly, Ow. that's better than this. Mm -hmm. Let's go on <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> Ow, you hit my boob. Don't you think we should cook them? Well, I mean if she's gonna put them in her mouth, I guess. Because I thought it'd be cute if she's like holding it on a fork and looks like but if it's like your if it's like so. old, if it's like raw, not old. But like if it's like raw, it might be kind of weird, right? You don't like raw hot dogs? Not in my mouth usually, no. In in your butt? You want to put raw hot dogs in my butt? Okay, this has gotten really weird. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hang on, I can't walk that fast. Are you serious? Yeah. A little waddler. So amazing! She looks great. I'm can I see? Can you so excited. Yeah. Have you ever had your hair done like this? No. This is my first pinup look. I and love. I've always wanted to do one. Yeah, I love pinup. So, it's like my favorite. It's it's a good little genre. 70s. Or not 70s. Like 50s. We're going to like 50s. <laughs> oh my god. 50s kind of barbecue feel. Yeah. You look amazing. I'm so okay. excited. Um, all right, I'm gonna go check on Eva, and uh, then we'll get started. Nice. Okay. Right. See you soon. Uh, I can uh, see you've made a lot of progress here. Listen, I'm googling how to properly cut a watermelon. Are you also gonna Google how to be a photographer? Shots fired. <laughs> Seriously, how are you gonna cut that? I'm. Tr I think I'm actually like I don't really know. I. It looks you, like... You know it's not that complicated to cut a watermelon. It is though because it has to be like camera ready watermelon. It's not just like, you know, a normal barbecue watermelon. You want it so that it lays this is my out really well. This moment ever. <laughs> okay, wait, is this seriously this way? Yeah, just cut that way. That's fine. I'm actually really scared of screwing this up. I'm not good at, at uh, human things like cutting watermelons. Mm -hmm. Is it turning you on? <laughs> <laughs> It's like ASMR water <laughs> cup watermelon cutting. Oh! Mm. Step one, properly executed. Okay, perfect. So let's just put one watermelon to the side and then just cut them into like nice slices. 
It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. I do have confidence that I'll do a good job today, but it is really hot. Holly's very pregnant. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid of her mood right now. Uh, she's usually pretty okay, but sometimes, uh, you know, her, I don't know, her mood can change and she could be a little bit snippy. So I just hope she doesn't uh, flip out on me. I don't know what I was thinking. This was such a bad idea. Oh my God. It's so, it's so hot out. I'm so pregnant. I'm so uncomfortable. I'm just like, what was I thinking? I mean, look at this, look at this temperature. It's a, it's 102 out. Not only is it 102, it says air quality, unhealthy for sensitive groups. I, I'm a sensitive group. Oh God, I really hope this wasn't a mistake and I really need Eva to be able to pull this off because otherwise I don't know what I'm gonna do. Holly, I think I messed up the hot dog platter. They got really hot and they look like shriveled wiener raisins. Coming. <sighs> Okay, so we are going to add a nice uh, rim light back there that should hit Emily. Just remember, you always wanna make sure that it doesn't rake across her face. It kinda just hits the side of her. Her hair is up, so we don't have the benefit of like, you know how sometimes when a girl's hair right, is down gonna, and like, big? Get on the, like... like mine, it'll help block right. the light from wrapping around into the face. Oh, I got it, I got it. Okay. That won't happen with her because her hair is up. So you just gotta really watch that rim light spilling onto her face. So just okay. check your shots. Okay, um, I think it's gonna be really cute. You're gonna look great. Let's go get Emily. Very cool. Let's go. Do those yellow jackets bite? Are those yes. Are those weird? Very, very hard. Do they? Yeah, it's really cute. Wow. Oh my gosh. There she wow, is. You look, really, <laughs> you look good. You look good. I love this I'm look. so glad those pants fit you because I just randomly ordered them off of Amazon. They look perfect, too. They look really good. No idea. They both look cute. So what do you think? I mean, she's amazing. Like yeah, I would have to be like a really bad photographer to mess that up. Yeah, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's not, let's make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> Um, so I know that you're kind of nervous about posing and stuff like that. Emily is great. She really knows what she's doing. Like I, when I was shooting her, I like barely had to give her any direction nice. at all. So like really it's, mm -hmm. you're going to be great. It's going to be easy. It's going to look amazing fun. and it's going to be really fun. Hey guys, I'm Emily Willis and I am Holly Randall's bombshell of the month. I just finished getting dressed and all ready for my next set of photos. I've never gotten to do a pinup, but I've always wanted to, so it's gonna be very vintage and chic, and I'm very excited. And Eva's cool, so I'm excited to work with her. If Holly trusts her, then I trust her too. Now look at the light on her face because when she turns towards it, you might get that ugly, is it spilling onto her nose and stuff like that? It's a little, it's a little bit. Okay, that's actually not too it's bad. It's not too bad. Mostly keep her this way, mm -hmm. and if she turns this way, just be aware of that and just right. kind of watch how it hits her nose and stuff like that. Gotcha. So let's do this. Put your chin up again a little bit like that? Yeah, that's I know, amazing. right? It's very pin up -y. super cute. No, you're fine. Is that fine. That's that's the ambi that's the sun coming through. Am I just being a you know? Mm-hmm. But that's okay. Great, we like it. Yeah. Well, we love anal. Okay, that looks really good. Yeah, that's way too much heavier. So how do I like do I get lower? Is that it? Because you're always sitting, so maybe that's I mean, oh yeah, that's what you do. I'm going to break that bench. Can you do that? Okay, you should get her in a different position because you're shooting like so many shots in the same position. Can I get rid of this water you can, yeah. Watch your headroom yeah, and um, make sure that she's pointing her toes. Point your toes. I'm going to 
does. Holly wants to post pointed. We all know. Which feet? Pointed feet. Which feet? Pointed feet. We get it, Holly. The model needs to point her toes. We all get it. If she can't even get this right, how am I supposed to trust her with an entire shoe? And so should she like, should she bend her like pointed? that way? No, you should just look how much headroom you're giving her. Give her more foot room. It's good. Here. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're cropping the feet out, which is a problem. So you just really want to watch and make sure that she's composed perfectly in the frame. So Emily, give me that again. Beautiful. No, please, Holly, take the camera. Go ahead, take over the set. Do it how you want to do it. Um, can we bring the this umbrella out a little bit on the left so I can get like a full horizontal? This one? Mm-hmm. I start to realize that the only way that Holly's gonna trust me is if I go in there, take the camera from her, take control, and show that woman who's boss. Hey, Holly. Okay, all right, all right, hold on, one, one more shot. All right, Emily, take five. Okay. Yeah. What? What are you doing? What do you mean what I'm doing? I'm what running my set. Yeah. But what was the whole point of this? Like, you literally told me, like, the entire day it was supposed to be about me taking over the set. So you can teach me. So you can let go. I, I, I am teaching you. I'm teaching you by example. As I mentioned before, I have kind of trouble letting go. I didn't even realize that I took the camera from Eva and started shooting. So, whoops. Help me for a little bit maybe, you okay. know, until you feel like comfortable, but like, okay. don't worry. Trust me. Look at me. Now you trust me, look at these eyes. Give me the camera. Give me the camera. <laughs> don't make me pry it out of your hand. Please, please, come on. Like, we don't have a lot of time. We gotta get this done. It's five million degrees. Okay? Yes. You trust me? Just don't fuck it up. I'm actually glad that she pulled me aside and took the camera from me. It shows initiative on her part, and that actually makes me feel better about the whole thing. Yeah, this looks really good. Oh yeah, Holly, I'm getting a hang of this. I'm like basically like you. You don't even have to be here anymore. You can just go now. That would be nice. <laughs> Will you grab uh, a piece of corn? Yeah. Right. Yeah, and start like shucking it, like peeling it. Beautiful, yeah, and look back at me. Gorgeous. All right, Steve, wanna take a look? Looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> that looks awesome. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Yeah, good job. I'm like basically like you now. Good job. See you. Come on, I can go home now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Emily, you look amazing. Give it to me, yes, yes. That looks awesome. You're killing it, Emily. You look so good. Yes. Wait, hold that pose. You just got it. Hold that pose. Maybe right I can there. Go. Yeah, let's Maybe I can let her take over after all. Who knows? Maybe I'll be the next Holly Randall. You wish. I mean, all I really need is like a big perm and uh, a big ego. <laughs> well, you already have the latter. That's true. People like to know a little bit about like how we make cinematic magic, you know, what like really goes on behind the scenes. So we didn't have any lemonade or any sort of juice today. And Holly being pregnant has to pee a lot. So this is actually a jug of her urine. <laughs> It's actually, my, it's actually my urine. Okay, that's a wrap. I'm going home. <laughs>